Okay, and this question is from uh, Mark DeWolf. Hi, Mark. I'm in my backyard, by the way. <laughs> okay, and your question is, what is the greatest challenge you've had to overcome in life? Um, that's a really tough question. I can give you the funny answer or the really serious answer. <laughs> um, on the lighter side, uh, the greatest challenge in my life has probably been sugar. I'm an absolute addict with sugar, and um, yeah, I'll, I'm on the verge of a diabetic coma half the time. Um, this slinky, by the way. Uh, yeah, on in a, on a truthful side, um, probably the greatest challenge I've ever had to deal with um, is dealing with death. Um, I don't think I was ever truly prepared to deal with people dying. And for many, many years, uh, when people passed around me, for some reason, I was always out of town or out of country. I never went to funerals. Um, and then when it finally did uh, kind of present itself to me in a very in-your-face sort of way, uh, I didn't know how to react. Um, and the first time was really uh, with my friend Stefano's father, um, and he had a stroke. And uh, the ambulance was actually not on his way, and no one knew what to do. And I tried to give him mouth to mouth and save him. And in the end, we put him in the car and drove him to the hospital. Uh, all the you know, whole half hour giving him mouth to mouth, but he was obviously gone. Um, that was difficult, um, and I was left with a, a sense of powerlessness and not really knowing what to do uh, and not knowing how to deal with that. Uh, for many years, it took its toll on me, and it still, it still does to some degree, um, but uh, I've learned to kind of move past it through performing and expressing myself and um, writing music once again, because I was actually at a music studio when he passed. And I stopped writing for almost, like, for literally 10 years. I stopped writing music and stopped performing music uh, after that experience. Um, and when my grandmother passed as well, that was another kind of moment for me to uh, be challenged by that. And it's been sort of an, an annual struggle to uh, revisit that experience uh, with the eyes of experience with the eyes of um, positivity and knowledge and getting learning something from it rather than suffering through it um, yeah that was a challenge the thing, the thing about challenges is that you know the things that are challenges are the ones that you don't you don't actually get over <laughs> you know challenges are ongoing um, and they're, they're transformative. Um, the things that, challenges that you overcome and just kind of get past, they're probably not the true challenges. I think the ones, the, the true challenges are the ones that uh, you live with uh, forever. And it's sort of a battle. Um, not a battle, that's kind of the wrong terminology. It's, um, it's something to work towards. And, woo! <laughs> This is hard. <clears throat> um, yeah, that's the greatest challenge I've had to overcome is uh, my relationship to death. Um, and now, since my grandmother's passed, um, I find myself unafraid of death, um, afraid of suffering. I, I've <laughs> become more afraid of suffering, um, but not afraid of death um, because I know... Uh, wherever I go after I die is wherever my grandmother will be. And that's not a scary place. That's a beautiful place. So I guess that's it. I feel like such a dork. Um, okay. <laughs> Ask me more questions. This is interesting.